Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's integrate k times x. Of course, when we integrate, you always have to have a differential dx, otherwise we couldn't integrate that. And we'll get into that a little bit later. So here we're going to integrate kx dx. Now since k is a constant, a constant can be moved outside the integral sign. So it becomes k times the integral of x times dx. And the rule is when we try to integrate x to some exponent, in this case the exponent is 1, we add 1 to the exponent and divide by the new exponent. So this means that this becomes equal to kx squared divided by 2 or can be written as 1 half kx squared and of course we have that constant of integration. Now let's look at it graphically. Here we've, we've written the function or drawn the function y equals kx which is what we're trying to integrate. And notice that this is a straight line where the slope here is represented by k and then we have the relation between the variable y and x. Now let's say we draw a dashed line here at a position where x equals x, some arbitrary point x equals x. And then we draw a little sliver right here where the height is equal to y, the distance from the x-axis to the function y equals kx, and the width is a very tiny dx, a very small change in x. So the small little area here called dA is equal to the height times the width y times dx. Now when we integrate that dA, we should get the area, the whole area. We should get the whole area underneath this triangle here, or inside this triangle, I should say. And so that would be equal to the integral of y dx. And since y is equal to k times x, we can write k times x, which is what we had over here. And so we know now when we integrate, we add 1 to the exponent. So from 1, we get 2, divide by the new exponent, and add a constant of integration. So here we can see that this is equal to 1 half kx squared plus the constant of integration. Now, if we let that constant go to zero, and we only have the one-half kx squared here, let's compare that to our rectangle here. We know that the area of a rectangle is equal to one-half times the base times the height. And so, one-half times the base, now the base will be this distance here, which is x, and the height would be the value of y here at x equals x. So the height would be y, and of course instead of y we can write kx, so that means that this is equal to one-half x times kx, or one-half kx squared, so you can see again, when we do a graphical representation of what this integral means, it really means the area underneath this curve right here, or underneath this straight line, that's represented by the equation y equals kx. So you can see that here the integral, the result of the integral, represents the area underneath. We add the plus c because there is an unknown constant there that disappears when we take the derivative of this, so when we integrate we must put it in there just to cover our basis, so to speak. And that's how we think of the integral of kx times dx.